Hi, welcome to week two, unit three, online learning environment. I am Professor Inegbedion Juliet Owajaje, your facilitator for this unit. We have learned about the concept and pedagogy in online learning. This unit will help you to prepare the environment where you will run your online course. In this instance, the environment is designated place for learning. The online learning environment can be likened to the face-to-face -face learning environment. A typical modern learning environment in the face-to-face -face starts with the school compound with aesthetics that can attract students to learn. Then you have the classrooms or lecture halls with furniture and fittings conducive for teaching and learning. Apart from the classrooms and lecture halls, which must meet certain diameter of class space and seating arrangements. The environment will also have space for laboratories, library, sports activities, and playgrounds. It is within the school environment that all the teaching and learning activities take place. The school environment is part of the criteria for measuring the quality of education received. This is not different with the online environment. However, there is a difference between the conventional learning environment and the online learning environment. Generally, learning environment is the place where all learning activities are held. While the conventional learning environment is the physical space, the online learning environment is the virtual space. So in setting up virtual learning environment, you must consider all that will help the learners to learn. The difference is the learning environment calls for purposeful learning theory to guide online learners and designers. Now, let us look at some of the guiding theories. We will look at these theories in two ways. First, the implications of the theories in setting up online learning environments. And secondly, the application of the learning uh, theories for learning. I'm going to talk about five learning theories that support online learning environment. Cognitive learning theory, implication of cognitive uh, theory for setting up online learning environment, emphasizes adequate access devices that will help learners see the learning structure. Integration of software that allows the learner to learn individually, collaborate, work in team, and socialize with co-learners. Integration of software that will help the learners relax in between learning, then set up attractive and friendly learning environment. Application of cognitive theory for learning. For the application for learning, it sustains learning, allows creativity and innovation, increase interactivity. The second one is the behaviorism. Implication of behaviorism model for setting up online learning environments. The behaviorists believe that environments can be used to modify behavior using classical or operant conditioning. The behaviorist teacher believes that students are product of their environment. Operant and classical conditioning bring about changes in reaction to stimuli, which moves from involuntary reflexes to more complex behavior. These illustrations show that learning environments receive different reactions from students. Positive reaction improves learning, while the negative reaction discourages learning and could increase attrition rates at, of online learners. Therefore, in preparing the online learning environment, it will be important to get data on learners' characteristics, learners' demography, learners' needs, the learning goals and objectives, the available content and mode of delivery. This will guide the designers on the structure to provide. Do not, do not use distracting graphics and be mindful of the use of graphics with contemporary issues. Offensive illustrations and pictures 
graphics or illustrations that can lead to negative reaction from learners. Application of it for learning, it encourages retention and promotes learning. Now let's look at the Gillis Simons five state model of e-learning. Implication of Gillis Simons model for setting up online envi learning environment is provide adequate access devices to learning environments. Give opportunity to learners to familiarize themselves with colleagues and the environment. Provide information exchange for learner support. Provide feedback on learning. Application of Gilly Simon's model on, for learning. Review feedbacks. Participate in learning conferencing. Share challenges in the designated environment. Increase interactivity. Again, let's look at the next one, community of inquiry framework. Implication of community of inquiry framework for setting up online learning environments. Provide holistic educational experience with social presence, supporting discourse, setting climate, teaching presence, cognitive uh, presence, and selecting context. Application for learning. Participation in group discussions. Receive motivation through feedbacks. Opportunity to demonstrate skills and abilities. Now, looking at the other one, computer-mediated learning communication. Implication of computer-mediated learning communication for setting up online learning environment. Be cyber security conscious. Select appropriate online learning tools that will give opportunity to the learners to collaborate with one another. Create tasks that can be simulated to depict real life situations. Use adequate access devices that will direct learning. Application of it to learning. Easy access to content. Provide easy collaboration with colleagues using appropriate learning management system. Online learning environment is purposeful, designed, following the guiding theories. It is also important to know the various academic activities that will be carried out in the online environment. At this point, it is important to note that the online learning environment requires learning management system. This is different from the general website set up for schools. The general school website will not be able to provide the required learning environment. Before going into developing an online learning environment, ascertain the academic activities that we run in the environment. Using university scenario, what are the basic academic activities? The basic activities may include course registration, receiving lectures or facilitation, meet mentor or course advisors, undergo practical project, take and submit assignments, take tests or quizzes, take examination. Though this is not exhaustive, it can lead us somewhere. Design a learning environment that will support learning and work. Who designs the online learning environment? The programmers. Yes, but cannot do it alone. You need an instructional designer to work with the programmer to arrive at effective online learning environment. In this unit, you have learned about the meaning of online learning environment and the criteria to consider when designing an online learning environment. Now, begin to design an online learning environment for your course. You may not be a certified programmer or instructional designer to have a skeletal structure of your online learning environment. Once you are a user, you can do something. This brings us to the end of this unit.